Hello, this is Dr. Rena Mudapriya, Associate Professor Tripli from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology, Parkulam. We are discussing about the transmission and distribution sub subject of the regulation 2021 and uh, discussing about the lecture 2.2 describing the corona discharge. What is corona? So if an AC voltage is applied across two conductors whose spacing is larger than their diameters, there is no apparent change in the conduction, condition of atmospheric air surrounding the wire. But when the applied voltage exceeds a certain value called critical disruptive voltage, the conductors are surrounded by a faint violet glow with a hissing noise is called corona. So this is corona discharge. The phenomenon of corona is being accompanied with a hissing sound production of ozone power loss and radio interference. The higher the voltage is raised, the larger and higher the luminous envelope becomes and greater the sound will be along with the power loss and radio noise. If the applied voltage is increased to break down value, a flashover will occur between the conductors during the, due to the breakdown of the air insulation. This corona produces the ozone gases with, with the hissing noise and violet glow. And if the conductors are polished and smoothed, the corona glow will be uniform throughout the length of the conductor. Otherwise, it may be brighter at rough points rather than the smooth ones. With DC voltage, the positive wire has uniform glow about it and negative conductor has spotty glow. Regarding the corona formation theory, some ionizations is always present in the air due to cosmic rays, ultraviolet radiations and radioactivity, the electromagnetic radiation. Under normal conditions, the air around the conductors will contain some ionized particles and neutral molecules. When potential difference is applied between the conductors, potential gradient is set up in the air which will have maximum value at the conductor surfaces. While influencing them with the potential gradient, the existing free electrons are to a greater velocities and the greater the voltage applied, the greater the potential difference and more is the velocity. When the potential gradient at the conductor surface reaches about 30 kV per centimeter, the velocity acquired by the free electrons is sufficient to strike a neutral molecule with enough force to dislodge one or more electrons from it. This produces another ion and more, the, more free electrons which in turn gets accelerated under the collision of, with other neutral molecules is producing ions. The process of ionization is cumulative. So this results in corona or spark takes place between the conductors. Factors affecting corona are atmosphere, conductor size, spacing between conductors, line voltage and critical disruptive voltage. Let us come to this. This is the minimum phase neutral voltage at which corona occurs. So it is given by G is equal to V divided by R into log E D by R volt per centimeter. And next uh, when considering certain different temperatures uh, then obviously we can calculate uh, the phase voltage required. The value, I mean, uh, when uh, the air density factors are being considered, we can calculate it and then we can substitute that for the critical disruptive voltage which is nothing but Vc is equal to G0 del R log I mean natural logarithm of D by R. This critical disruptive voltage with respect to the irregularity factor is being given here. Irregularity factor may vary for different types of conductors. For polishing conductors it is 1, for dirty conductors it is 0.82, sorry 982, 92. And for standard conductors, it is from 0.87 to 0.8. Let us see what is visual critical voltage then. So while considering the visual critical voltage, it is a minimum phase neutral voltage at which the corona glow appears all along the conductors. And next while considering the phase neutral effective value with respect to visual critical voltage, it depends upon the irregularity factor MV. Next is the power loss due to corona. This is a direct substitution. We can directly calculate it from the supply frequency and the phase neutral voltage and disruptive voltage. These are some of the advantages and disadvantages. And uh, regarding the methods of reducing the corona effect, first one, its conductor size can be increased. So 
so this is one of the reasons that uh, the aluminium um, silicon combination conductors uh, will have larger cross sectional areas uh, than they are being used next is conductor spacing thank you